Hey, wake up and watch the video. You ready? Now, draw! <laughs> oh, you got me! delicate grace with which it moves, water over stone, with its light and color, the way it dances and sings, it's never still, ever. As it rains and pours, the power and force combine to make music so nice, it transforms the very blood in your veins. Can you feel it? Its energy compels, rumbling ever so, the motion of a stroke, the touch of a brace, the cut of your wake, the symmetry and form, style and grace of water and streams. It's all the same, perpetual motion, the delinquency of time. Babcock State Park is uh, its on the rim of the New River Gorge. It would be on the north rim. Um, uh, it's located on Route 41 off of Route 60, which is the Midland Trail. It's pretty easy to find. It's a very popular, beautiful park. Uh, it's uh, built by the CCC back in 1936, and it's just incredible stonework, both in the buildings that they built and all the walkways and the stairways and, and everything through the park is absolutely beautiful. There's lots to do there. Um, kayaking is not one of the normal things that most people would think of when it come to mind when they think of Babcock State Park, but let me tell you, it's a jamming creek. Man's Creek? Ooh, steep, rocky, dangerous, wild, just freaking crazy. Man's Creek is what they told Columbus would happen if he sailed around the world or tried to sail around the world. You drop off the face of the earth and it does not stop. Man, oh man, it's definitely one of the gems of this state. You don't want those long boats in this creek. It's so steep, so technical. You take that long boat on there, you can get pinned in a heartbeat. This is spud boats only. It slices, it dices, it falls and it drops, but wait, there's more. It's so clear and clean when you're kayaking down it, you can just look down almost all the time and see the bottom. Man's Creek is definitely a very, very intense run. Very technical, you really have to be on top of things. You'd have to say it's um, Man's Creek compares, I guess, to, it's definitely in the class of the green and the bear. Man's Creek's just incredible. You know, you think you're going to have to find this creek somewhere in the Himalayas, Amazon, wherever, but it's right here in West Virginia. It's just white water at its best.
again. Now there's a little perpetual motion for you. Perpetual motion is the delinquency of time. It's also the movie. So let's get back to it from the top. And we'll pick it up just a little bit. Strange lot in these kayakers. All right, excuse me. Just checking out the next song. Okay, we've seen all of the put-in rapids. That would be the waterfall just below the grist mill. And of course the dam just below that. Below the dam you have that short slide section. And then you'll encounter two four-foot ledge type drops before you get into the beef of the first major rapid, which is Gladiator. Shortly after Gladiator, you'll come to Pillage and Plunder. So, hey, let's go check them out. Nice municipal rapid between Pillage and Plunder and Goliath. It's probably a misty hole. It's quite a unique rapid. I'm not really sure who ran it first. It's not really a rapid in the normal sense of rapids. It's kind of more like a move. Yeah. You either hit it or you don't. Yeah. If it's you hit it, well, I guess you either hit it or you hit it. <laughs> you either make the move or you hit the rock really hard. Such a great, such a great move. It's really hard to tell everybody about it. You know, it's something they definitely see yourself. Yep, you, you, it's themselves. definitely one of those things that if you don't tell anybody what's happening, they're going to be really surprised when they drop over and see what's waiting for them at yeah, the bottom. We can't tell it. We can't tell everybody. So you just got to say, well, you want to drop over this drop, and you want to stick your bow underneath of this rock, and uh, and then. Then just let just it let it happen and see what happens. You do a reverse cinder against the rock and, and pirouette into the eddy. If you're lucky. If you're not, if you're not lucky, you slam you the rock slam really the rock. hard. <laughs> Goliath is one of the rapids on the creek that I remember scouting out a couple years ago that uh, I looked at and I thought, man, there's no way you could run that thing. And uh, it's probably the one of the steepest parts of the whole creek. The whole rapid itself drops over 40 feet. That top section is kind of a, a cheat though, but I mean, it's certainly <laughs> worthwhile. It's sort of like not kayaking, but yet you don't get out of your boat because yeah, you're, it's you're, not, you're using your hands on rocks to get through. It's, I mean, it's real real similar to the section below group tube, or above group tube on the green. 
Yeah, exactly. It's, it's exactly like that. Yeah, where you, right. you're, you're avoiding a portage that really is a yeah. portage. It, yeah. Portage with your hands. And yeah, your <laughs> and your boat. <laughs> Just like there on the green, it shoots you right out. Yeah, it shoots you right out onto the... And into a good, good big drop. Yeah. yeah, it puts you right back where you want to be, into the, to the nice shoots at the bottom of Goliath. One of the rapids that we run at uh, lower levels on the creek, uh, usually when we don't run the gristmill falls, uh, is called the squeeze box. At higher water, uh, the squeeze box is really intense and we run an alternative line over on the river right. Um, at the lower water levels, the right line pretty much closes off and you have to run the squeeze box. And it gets really nice at that level. Um, it's one of those rapids where you look at it and you think, oh man, how in the world can you get through it without getting slammed? But it's actually not as bad as it looks. One of my favorite rapids, they're all favorites, but this is another favorite. Uh, it's called Crack. It's right below the squeeze box.
one of the harder rapids on the creek that took us a long time to name. All the other ones pretty much had names before we finally thought of a name for this rapid. Um, it's the most narrow rapid and the most channelized that Mans Creek gets. And the first time I looked at it, I thought, no way, no day. <laughs> uh, BJ decided that he's going to run the thing. So, and we all thought, man, he is a lunatic. He's going to run this thing. And eventually, uh, BJ agreed that the name should be Lunatic Fringe. For the next mile below Lunatic Fringe, the gradient slacks off a bit and the valley broadens out as you enter the confluence area of the two creeks. There's still some small technical drops keeping you busy enough that you might miss seeing Man's Creek flowing in from the right side. Directly below the confluence, you'll paddle through this intensely beautiful wooded glade area as you approach a 30-foot high limestone cliff on the left, which shuts out most of the light on this part of the creek. After the confluence, the creek once again narrows down and gets back to business.
That was funny the first time I heard that. I come paddle in. I don't know. I forget who coined it, but uh, <laughs> BJ. Let's talk to Jeff. Yeah, yeah, Jeff. BJ I pull in the me. eddy. There's BJ standing, sitting atop of the thing. We're like, what's this? I don't know, but you ain't going to like this one. <laughs> but that's, that's the one you really deserves that name. That's how you told me about it. Yep. He's, he goes, yeah, this is one of the ones. I remember it. This is where he said, you're not going to like this one. That's what, that's what this one is. Liquid Drano is definitely the rapid that makes Mans Creek. It's the last of the big ones, and it is a really a grand finale for this creek. Um, it's a really heavy drop, narrow, fast. Um, you're dropping over a 20 to 30 foot drop altogether, and it's a double drop where you're dropping over the first one and. It's really blind. You can't really tell what's what's coming up below you. You got to just kind of feel feel for the for the right line and, and and hug the left rock over the top drop. And then when you land for the bottom drop, you may get two strokes in if you're lucky. But make sure that last stroke's on the right in Drano, and everything will be all right. You just go through there so smooth and so fast if you have the right run. And if you don't have the right run, you go deep.
I definitely have, you know, after the first couple of times, I've started feeling a lot more comfortable on yeah, my lines. Definitely. And, you know, just knowing what com what's coming up and what it can do to you makes a huge difference. My first run, it was, it was just surviving my first run. It's just you can't explain someone explain to someone what a rapid's going to be be doing and how you run it you just kind of tell them where the where, where not to be and and hopefully they won't won't go there yeah don't end up right at the bottom i remember hearing that a lot <laughs> or just run it and you'll see way to go yeah just run it just drop over there and There's you'll the see right way, way and the wrong way if you and, can't and figure them out you shouldn't be here <laughs> and uh yep yeah. that's the way it is with most of them and as you're going over you got to you look and you see whether you need to make a hard right or a hard left. Yep. Because you're just landing and turning. And if you can't look and make that decision quick enough, man, then... It's going to hurt. Yeah. At least. But I, I, just still don't, I don't, still don't know whether we've had a trip where somebody hasn't got pinned or Yeah, there seems like there's pretty much always something that happens on the creek. I, I've had a couple times where I've gone down or where nothing major happened, but there's always a little yeah, something. Sometimes, you know, always somebody in the trip, something happens. Yep, and I've definitely had it happen to me. Sometimes you watch the show and sometimes you are the show. And I've been the show on Man's Creek. It's a good Clay's place for a show. spear paddle and duct tape. Spear paddle and duct tape, definitely.